Yes. Uh, I know it's probably a few oh, audience. Please come to the mic. <laughs> okay. um, I'll just repeat the question for him. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, explain a proof of work? Uh, proof of work? Yes. And proof, okay. Okay, that is a very, um, I'm glad that you brought that up. I had some uh, bonuses here in case, right? In case I had time, right? Uh, bonus nasty hurdle, objections, okay? When you come out with your product or service, you should anticipate in advance what the objections are going to be. So one of the things that next, um, the objections that we ran into with next is that there's no mining. There's only forging, there's no mining. And the difference is this, uh, forging does not produce new coins. So a billion coins was created from the day the source code was released. And it, there was an IPO basically, and if you sent in uh, your Bitcoins, then you got X amount of that, uh, a certain percentage, depending upon how many Bitcoins you sent in to the inventor. Now, how many of you guys think that that's risky? Sending it to some guy in Russia somewhere or anything, send your Bitcoins? Everybody agrees that's risky? And if you were willing to take that chance, uh, shouldn't you be rewarded? Okay, so now those original 73 people that sent their Bitcoins in to get the software, the original source code developed, right? They got a portion, their percentage of the one billion next, all right? So because of that, a lot of people assume that it's pre-mined, even though there's no mining involved, okay? There's only forging. The difference between proof of work in Bitcoin versus the proof of stake is that instead of you spending your money to go buy giga hashes to hash uh, uh, the, the Bitcoin, right, and to secure the Bitcoin network, um, the next uses a proof of stake because they found out, they discovered that not everyone can go out and buy a, a Bitcoin miner. Can anyone here afford a four, five thousand, twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin miner? No, not everyone in this room can. But everyone in this room can afford a dollar, right? Or 50 cents or 10 cents to get a stake in it. And the amount of stake that you have in the next network determines your ability to forge and secure the network. And you get compensated for the transaction fees. Now, once again, as I mentioned earlier about Bitcoin mining, if that's not your specialty, you should not worry about that, okay? If securing the network if security is not your area of ex expertise, leave that alone to the people that are good at it, okay? And just be a user, okay? And so basically proof of work depends upon how many giga hashes you have and proof of stake depends upon how many coins you have. Now, a lot of people complain they don't like that because they feel it's pre-mined, but you are, you are going to spend money to buy those giga hashes or you can spend money to buy the coins. More, coin, more giga hashes you have over here, the more mining ability you have. The more coins, next coins you have over here, the more that you can forge. Does that help answer your question? Yes. Okay. No, I, like, I like that concept. All right. So it makes it a lot fairer. A lot of people don't think it's fair because they're just strictly there to mine the coin. And we did not want a group of people to run over to next, mine it, and then as soon as Doggy Coin comes out, take all the equipment and things to go run over there and mine that, and then a new altcoin comes out and take all their hardware to go over there and mine it. We wanted a more stable and secure network, so because a new altcoin comes out, you're not going to take your million next coins and run over there and try to mine them. It's going to be used here to mine the, and it's, it can be done on a computer, it can be done on a, uh, on a regular smartphone, it can be done by anybody. Uh, the purpose of the proof of stake was to eliminate a centralized mining process or a, a centralized area where they secure the network. So now everyone across the next community can secure the network no matter what type of computer or hardware that they have.